Why not? Uh, what we intend to do tonight, let's hear it! For Bell Smith Springs, that's why we're all here, folks. We've got to protect that wonderful national natural landmark, uh, which is threatened with logging and burning of over 3,400 acres of our public land. Please help us, everyone, on the air, out here today. Um, we need help out there. We can stop this atrocity. But let me introduce some people here. We're going to have a great night. Uh, we're going to hear a few uh, people talk, and we're going to hear some wonderful music as well. Uh, tonight, uh, we have uh, Carter and Conley coming up a little later. But first, I have the great pleasure of introducing uh, a reunion for this very special cause to help protect our Bellsmith Springs National Natural Land. <laughs> Fairyland of ox and bull will rise and go with kind. The 
things though, on uh, PBS from St. Louis. Um, they've been showing these environmental clips every night about 10.30. It's 
channel too if you got like basic cable. Uh, that's all I'll pay for movies. I know you watch uh, PBS here, PBS in St. Louis, and the American Movie Classics that I get for free because they don't have the equipment to block it yet, but it's not included with the basic. But Thank you, St. Louis Kevin. has more money on PBS, but they've been showing these clips and they showing like there's tree free product um, companies out west. A lot of them, you know, that's everything starts California and uh, but they're they had local stuff too like an organic farmer in the middle of St. Louis and uh, they got this land it's a community organic farm and uh, the residents some of them are mad because there's tractors and stuff going out there and he's like oh well you know anyway so there's good stuff happening in spite of uh, this the crap so here we go All right. you ready
called Woman of the Earth.
Springs t-shirt, and on the back it says, one free man defending his home is more powerful than 20 hired soldiers. Robin Hood. Defend your home. Zero, nine, zero. 90. Zero, nine, zero. Redraw. Thank you, Smokey. Smokey's doing a fine job. Zero seven eight. Woo! It's my it's my nasal passages, you know. I've got an infection. What's your name? John. John. Here's your. Thank you. Smokey, thank you. Go sit down and relax a little bit. I know you're hot about this one. I know you're hot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Southern Illinois' finest, Carter and Conley. How does he do that with that microphone anyway? I don't know. I just don't know. Good evening, everyone. We are Carter and Conley, minus Wild Bill Cronin this evening. Bill's in somewhere in the hills in Arkansas. We have a, a number of things we'd like to share with you this evening. Some, a lot of, we're going to try to stick to our, most of our original songs, and also we have a couple stories and some uh, excerpts out of a journal that I, I wrote about eight years ago as I passed through Bell Smith Springs for the, one of my first time. If you guys have any requests, holler them up. We're going to start out this evening with one of my favorite songs. A little earlier in the year, I had an intergenerational elder hostel, which is an opportunity for grandparents to be with their grandchildren in kind of a nature setting. And one of the little girls in the group was 10 years old, the same age as my daughter, and her name was Wilhelmina. And she spent a lot of time with my daughter, running around a little grassy lake and tromping the hills out at Pine Hills. And she went back to her home in, I think it was somewhere in Iowa, and I just got a letter from her, or my daughter got a letter from her and said, Emily, I really uh, enjoyed the time in Southern Illinois. I enjoyed the Shawnee National Forest. I enjoyed Pine Hills, Bellsmith Springs. We took a hike down there. And she said that she had to leave now and had to close the letter because she was going to go back to watching the TV. And she said that she was watching the TV for 14 or 15 hours a day. We're blessed here in Southern Illinois to have a place like the Shawnee. We're blessed here in Southern Illinois to have a place like Bellsmith. And I'd like to dedicate this song to Wilhelmina, who may someday have the opportunity to break herself away from that vacuum tube called the TV. Ah! She was a level headed ah! dancer. Say. Okay, what were you saying now? DDF, distance distortion pack. We're talking about women, right? Women, of okay, course. Right. <laughs> what else are we talking about? Men? Really? <laughs> what so, do we want to say about men? Um, well. No, go ahead. DDF. All but one of them suck. <laughs> uh, I think you're wrong too. Two, two. Myself okay. and Mark. That's right. The the man himself, Matt. There's Daddy. a few other that are pretty cool. Like right. Pose, if you happen to see this. 